Today I want to talk about Gimme AWS Creds installation and usage. Just a reminder, you can find the original post on my blog, link in the description along with any reference links and source code. I'm also excited that my Patreon has now launched. Be sure to check it out as well as any of the other affiliate links in the description if you'd like to support the channel. I started using Gimme AWS Creds recently and it has been an absolute lifesaver. If you are not familiar, Gimme AWS Creds is a CLI that utilizes Okta IDP via SAML to acquire temporary AWS credentials. You can find Nike's GitHub repository here. While I did not use this during my NPK installation, our AWS policies have changed since then. As I now need to use my personal AWS account, I needed a way to programmatically grab an access and secret key for my 2FA protected account. First. I installed the AWS CLI as this is necessary for the AWS interaction. Next, I used pip to install the Gimme AWS Credentials module. Note that I was missing the keyrings.alt package and had to install it manually. Once I had everything installed, I ran the application with the configure flag. To get the application link, I logged into my Okta portal and copied the link for my AWS SSO button. Unfortunately, when I tried to get my credentials, I was getting 403 errors. After talking to some of my coworkers, I realized that I needed to register my device. Even though I already linked my Google Authenticator to my account, Gimme AWS creds needed this registration as well. Note, I also removed the from home equals true from the application URL just to be safe. Finally, after making these changes, I was able to successfully obtain a working AWS credentials file. Unfortunately, it looks like my eight hour duration was too long and Okta kicked me back down to one hour. In the end, my working profile looked like the following. While this was a simpler tool to set up and use, I think that I'll be using it more in the future. Stay tuned for another post on AWS password cracking as I've tried out a few more options. In the meantime, please let me know if you have any suggestions for more tools or services. And as always, you can check out this video that the YouTube algorithm suggests for you. And don't forget to please, please click those like and subscribe buttons real quick if you want to help me grow this channel.